In the early 2000s, reality TV witnessed the emergence of a larger-than-life character who captivated audiences with his unique approach to bringing wanted criminals to justice. This iconic figure was none other than Dog the Bounty Hunter, or as he's known off-screen, Dwayne Chapman, rising to fame on A and E's hit show Dog the Bounty Hunter. Chapman became a household name as he fearlessly pursued and captured bail jumpers and fugitives, all in exchange for a hefty cash reward. However, behind the tough exterior and relentless pursuit of justice, Chapman's journey was marked by numerous personal tragedies and challenges. Despite the darkness he encountered, his unwavering determination and unfiltered demeanor resonated deeply with viewers, earning him a devoted following and cementing his status as a reality TV legend. Dwayne Chapman's journey through life, both before and during his time as Dog the Bounty Hunter, was marked by tumultuous experiences that mirrored the gritty world of the criminals he pursued. From his troubled youth to his tumultuous encounters with the law, Chapman's story is one of redemption, resilience, and the pursuit of justice amidst adversity. One of the darkest chapters in Chapman's life unfolded during his formative years, when he found himself entangled in a life of crime and violence. At the tender age of 13, he made the fateful decision to drop out of school and join a motorcycle gang, immersing himself in a world of lawlessness and rebellion. Over the years, Chapin's criminal activities escalated, leading to a staggering 18 convictions for robbery. However, it was a tragic incident in the late 70s that would forever alter the course of Chapin's life. During a botched drug deal, Chapin's friend was fatally shot plunging him into a nightmare of guilt and remorse. Despite his efforts to seek medical help for his wounded friend, the young Chapman found himself implicated in a murder case that would rock his world. The ensuing legal battle was fraught with challenges, as Chapman faced accusations of being an accessory to the crime. Despite maintaining his innocence, he was convicted of murder under Texas law at the time, which offered no leniency for accomplices. Sentenced to five years in prison, Chapman served 18 months behind bars before being released. It was during his incarceration that Chapman experienced a moment of profound reckoning, confronted with the harsh realities of his past and the consequences of his actions, he made a solemn vow to turn his life around and strive for redemption. As he looked at his reflection in the prison mirror, haunted by the disapproving voice of his father, Chapman resolved to chart a new path one defined by integrity, purpose, and a commitment to making amends for his past mistakes. Upon his release, Chapman embarked on a journey of self-discovery and transformation, determined to leave behind his criminal past and forge a new identity as a force for good in the world. Inspired by the words of his father and fueled by an unwavering desire for redemption, he set out to become the best version of himself channeling his energy and resilience into a career as a bounty hunter. Despite the challenges and setbacks he faced along the way, Chapman remained steadfast in his pursuit of justice, drawing upon his own experiences to empathize with those who had lost their way. Through his work as Dog the Bounty Hunter, he not only captured fugitives but also offered them a chance at redemption, embodying the transformative power of second chances. In recounting his tumultuous journey, Chapman's story serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for redemption in the face of adversity. From troubled beginnings to triumphant victories, his life is a testament to the transformative power of hope, forgiveness, and the unwavering pursuit of a brighter tomorrow. Duane Chapman's life has been marked by a series of profound tragedies and heartaches each leaving an indelible mark on his journey of redemption and self-discovery. From the haunting specter of his past to the painful revelations of his present, Chapin's story is one of resilience, regret, and the relentless pursuit of redemption. The weight of regret hangs heavy on Chapin's shoulders, a burden borne from the events that forever altered the course of his life. Reflecting on the tragic death of his friend Jerry Oliver, Chapman grapples with the profound sense of responsibility that accompanies his role in the ill-fated drug deal. I should not have been there. That's that. 
Chapman lamented in a candid interview with The Guardian in 2012, acknowledging the irreversible consequences the most of poignant his chapter of Chapman's tale revolves around the heartbreaking revelation of a son he never knew existed, a revelation shrouded in sorrow and missed opportunities. In the tumultuous landscape of his youth, Chapman carried on a relationship with a woman named Debbie White, unaware of the profound impact their brief encounter would have on both their lives. Tragically, White's life was cut short by suicide, leaving Chapman to grapple with the devastating aftermath of her untimely death. It was only years later, long after White's passing, that Chapman received the startling phone call that would forever alter the trajectory of his life. White's mother revealed the heartbreaking truth that Chapman had fathered a son, Christopher Michael Hecht, during his tumultuous youth. Struggling to come to terms with this newfound revelation, Chapman embarked on a journey of reconciliation and redemption, seeking to forge a connection with the son he never knew. Their reunion, though fraught with challenges and obstacles, offered a glimmer of hope amidst the shadows of the past. Yet, even as Chapman sought to mend the fractured bonds of fatherhood, Hecht's life was plagued by its own share of hardships and adversity. From legal troubles to incarceration, Hecht's path was fraught with obstacles, testing the resilience of both father and son alike. Despite the trials and tribulations they faced, Chapman and Hecht found solace in their shared journey of redemption each striving to confront the demons of their past and embrace the promise of a brighter future. Through their bond, they discovered a profound sense of healing and forgiveness, transcending the pain of the past to embrace the possibility of reconciliation and renewal. In recounting the tumultuous chapters of his life, Chapman's story serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of love, forgiveness, and second chances. From the depths of despair to the heights of redemption, his journey is a testament to the enduring power of hope in the face of adversity. Duane Chapman's life story reads like a gripping saga, filled with tumultuous twists and turns that have shaped the man behind the legendary persona of Dog the Bounty Hunter. From brushes with the law to heart-wrenching personal tragedies, Chapman's journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The dissolution of Chapman's first marriage to LaFonda Sue Honeycutt marked the end of a tumultuous chapter in his life, punctuated by infidelity and the shadows of his criminal past. Their relationship, strained by Chapman's entanglement in a web of crime and betrayal, ultimately crumbled under the weight of their irreconcilable differences. Yet, even as Chapman grappled with the fallout of his failed marriage, fate had other plans in store. In a twist of fate that would haunt Chapman for years to come, tragedy struck once again with the death of his infant son, Zibidaya, born from a brief and ill-fated union with Anne Tangle. Their fleeting romance, marred by deception and despair, ended in heartbreak as Chapman grappled with the loss of a child and the shattered remnants of a marriage that was never meant to be. Yet, perhaps the most devastating blow came with the untimely death of Chapman's daughter, Barbara Chapman, on the eve of his wedding to Beth Smith. The joyous occasion was overshadowed by grief and anguish as Chapman received the heart-wrenching news of his daughter's tragic passing. Despite the weight of sorrow that threatened to consume him, Chapman made the difficult decision to proceed with the wedding, honoring his daughter's memory amidst the bittersweet backdrop of celebration and mourning. But Chapman's trials were far from over, as he found himself embroiled in a bitter custody battle for his grandson, Travis Mims Jr., amidst allegations of abuse and neglect. Faced with the heartbreaking reality of his grandson's suffering, Chapman waged a courageous battle for justice and protection, fighting to provide a safe and loving home for the innocent child caught in the crossfire of familial turmoil. Yet, even amidst the darkness that threatened to engulf him, Chapman found solace in the unbreakable bonds of family and forgiveness. Reconciling with his estranged daughter, Lissa Chapman, Chapman confronted the ghosts of his past, seeking redemption and reconciliation in the face of shared pain and regret. Through it all, Chapman emerged as a beacon of hope and resilience, a testament to the enduring power of love, forgiveness,